Hi, my name is Al Clark. Welcome to session seven of the Blackboard sessions. This is a departure from normal because, well, there's no Blackboard. But today's topic is a little different. Some of our staff said, why don't you talk about your favorite DSP books since uh, people constantly ask what are good re references and so forth. And I started out a little different than uh, some, a lot of people in that when I went to the university quite a long time ago, there were no DSP chips. And I took one course in DSP. And we had a book, this one, it's my oldest DSP book. It was called Digital Signal Processing by William Stanley. And it's awful. So if you ever have a chance to get a free DSP book and it's this one, pass. So uh, as I've kind of told you, I thought Stanley's book was absolutely horrible and you should never buy it. And I told this story to uh, the next author that I'm going to recommend who has a, who's my favorite DSP writer for general audiences, uh, Rick Lyons. And Rick told me that it was Stanley's book that inspired him to write his books. So uh, because I think he had the same opinion I did that this book was horrendous and but there weren't very many books at the time. But I still have it just because I'm nostalgic, I guess, because I never throw away books. Um, but Stanley's book was interesting in that I took this, you know, like a lot of university students at the time, I took the course, I could do the math, I got an okay grade, all that. And when I was all done with the course, I really didn't know what a digital filter was. So it was very abstract, very mathematical, and it seemed kind of irrelevant to me at the time. Um, that was in uh, 1975 or six. So, um, so then I started buying books in a later date because I got interested in digital signal processing. And believe it or not, there wasn't uh, a World Wide Web yet. There weren't websites, so we had these things called books because we couldn't Google things or use the predecessor search engines to find a community at that point. Uh, so I would go to places like the university, libraries, and so forth, and I'd buy books. Um, and what I found for me, and for a lot of folks that I know, I was, I was at my best at mathematics when I was probably in my early 20s, probably still in the university. And that's true of, I think, a lot of technical people, and certainly uh, not all our audience have engineering degrees in electrical engineering. But DSP books, are in fact a lot of times written with the idea that you're that guy. You know, you're somebody in academia, maybe you're a student, and it's a teaching book, and so it tends to be heavy on math and a lot less on why do you care. So a lot of the books I'm gonna talk about today that I like are books that I found relevant to me because they're not overly cast in uh, lots of heavy mathematics to prove all these theorems and, and practices but more to give you kind of a sense of how do you actually use this stuff. Um, so my absolute favorite book, and I think I'm gonna start with that instead of starting with the okay books, but my very favorite book for this purpose is a version of this book. This is Understanding Digital Signal Processing by Rick Lyons, Richard Lyons. I, I'm actually friends with Rick. I've known him for a long time, but Rick's book is the best written book in terms of I want to understand things and I don't want to get bogged down in heavy duty mathematics. Uh, I actually have three versions of this book. That's probably the only book I have that I have three copies of. And I did a count uh, before I started this thing and I counted 75 books in my bookshelf on DSP alone and there's probably a few more floating around. But I have three of his books. This is a third edition book. You can buy it on Amazon. At one point, it was the most popular book on Amazon and DSP. Perhaps it still is. Um, what I like about Rick's book the best is that I think there are, I tell people there are two kinds of engineers, those who can, uh, can't write at all and those who can barely write. But Rick actually is the exception to that rule. He's actually a very good writer. So this is, this is the number one book. We'll put a list at the end of the thing of the books that I'm talking about so you can find them by exact titles. Um, so the most common book you might have seen when people go to school is a book 
I have a version of it here. <coughs> this is called uh, discrete time signal processing. There's a couple different names, I think, for this. But everybody calls this the ONS book because it's by Oppenheim and Schaefer. Uh, Oppenheim is a professor at MIT, perhaps Schaefer is too, I don't remember. Uh, I've actually met Alan Oppenheim and I think he was Paul Beckman from DSP Concepts uh, PhD advisor. Um, that said, it's, it's the Bible for college students and I think it's a really difficult book to read. So unless you really are into mathematics and, and the fundamentals, I would actually avoid ha uh, making ONS my favorite book. So uh, I used to belong to a very active Usenet group called comp.dsp uh, on the internet in the early 2000s. And a very popular book with that group, and I like it a lot too, was Digital Signal Processing Communication Systems by Margaret Furking. He was an engineer for Collins Radio. And maybe that's why I liked the book, because it was a book written by a practicing engineer and not somebody from academia who was you know, more um, involved with that. Now, I realize we're mostly an audio-oriented company. This book is not really just about communications, and it covers a lot of those topics that I think people are interested in, in learning. So this has always been one of my favorites. If you ever have a chance to hear a DSP speaker and you get a little more involved in DSP, this is an example. This book is written by Fred Harris, Fred, uh, professor in uh, San Diego. Fred, I would, I would go to lecture Fred if he was teaching us how to make spaghetti. He is an incredible educator and a very, very bright guy. This is a multi-rate book, so if you're interested in multi-rate, this book is quite excellent. Um, but my actual favorite multi-rate book, this is for like decimators, interpolators, and things. It's actually a, a book by uh, Ronald Crochier and Lawrence Ravener called Multi-rate Digital Signal Processing. So I looked this up on Amazon before I did this. And when I searched on, on this book, the first time I found a hit, they wanted $975 for this book in paperback, the one I have. Um, and then I searched on Crochier's name and I found out you could buy it for like $100 and I think there's a copy for $37. So it just shows you when you find a good book, search multiple ways. It's the same book, I think it's been reprinted from another, another publisher. This is an Apprentice Hall one. So this is the actual $975 one. But the book's the same and it's, it's accessible. And this book, uh, it's a little bit more mathematical, but when I read through it, this was really practical, and I've used this extensively when I've done multi-rate filters. Another Rick Lyons book that I liked, and I actually reviewed this book, is called Streamlining DSP. And uh, Streamlining DSP is right here. This is a book on tricks. And it, so when you're learning some DSP, when you'll start learning things like IAR filters and FIR filters and these kind of things. But at some point, you've learned these basics and, and somebody has figured out some clever ways to solve problems. And, most of, and this is really not a book so much by Rick Lyons, but a collection of articles written by, where he edited these from a whole bunch of people. And a lot of these are written from some of my friends in Comp DSP. So I actually knew a bunch of these people who wrote the, contributed this book. And I actually reviewed this book for IEEE back oh, 15 years ago or 10 years ago. Um, so I didn't contribute to this book directly, but I did actually write a review on it once. There's one other book that I think audio people probably should be, or at least an author that you should be looking at. Uh, I think these might be the same book. Yeah, they are. So this is Zolzer's book. Uh, Udo Zolzer has written books for digital audio signal processing. And I think if you get interested at all in digital signal processing books for audio, this tends to be a book that everybody probably has in their collection. And I would suggest it's a, a pretty good book. And, and it covers areas that a lot of the other books don't. So. I don't regret having all, all these books. And what I found is that in general, you can find little pieces of sometimes the same material covered different ways. Uh, sometimes you're just looking at a specific topic. Um, but those are some of my favorites and, and I think they're all pretty readable and accessible, uh, at least compared to some of the, the more heavy duty mathematical books that are out there. So 
Um, that's really all I wanted to talk about today was just some of my favorites. Everybody else has their own list and you may have your own. If you found a particularly great book, drop me an email and say, you know, Al, what about this book? I think it's great and here's why. And maybe at some point we'll revisit it or we'll, we'll add a comment. Thank you.